So solving systems of linear inequalities. Inequalities were less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and putting it all on a graph, okay? But instead of just doing one inequality where we had just one thing that was shaded, we're having two things, okay? A quick review, and you should already have this in your notes somewhere. If it's a less than sign, we shade below the line and it's a dashed line. So this should already be in your notes. So I wouldn't write it down unless you don't have it in your notes. Less than or equal to is shaded below, but it's a solid line because it's equal to. Shaded above would be greater than with a dashed line. And then a greater than or equal to would be shaded above with a solid line. Okay, so those are the four facts you need to know for today's lesson. What time does class start? I don't know. Oh, wow. We did like good things for a solid 15 minutes. Cool. Nice. All right. Can I change this? Cause I see some people writing. Are we good? We're good. Okay. All right. So this is just review, but I would write it down just in case, you know, more practice, the better. Okay. So this is in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form tells me the slope and tells me the y intercept. What is the slope of this line? One half. One half. Awesome. One so my, half. Awesome. So my slope is one half. What's my y-intercept? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. So we should know this by now. We should be able to look at this. Tell me slope and y-intercept. What is this less than? Can someone raise their hand and tell me what this less than sign will tell me to do on the graph? Marco? Shade below. Perfect. Shade below. Dash line. Okay. Easy enough, yes? yes? Okay, that looks terrible. Just person that says shade below and dash line. But <clears throat> I guess I could take the time and do it better. Ooh, that was a fancy one, right? Oh. Shade below. Dash line. This is on a recording, yes. <laughs> okay. So everyone feels good about that. Slope intercept form, I know I feel like as a, as a class, I feel like we're really strong, okay? It's when we get to the other forms that we start getting a little shaky. Point slope form, huh? Okay, point slope form, look at the formula. In your head, start processing information. Okay, based on looking at the formula, so on, raise your hand, one of my zoomies, and tell me the slope. Go ahead, Callie. The slope is two. Awesome, the slope is two. There's my slope right here. All right, another zoomie. Tell me what point, the point that this is going through. Is it Isa? <laughs> Um, it'll go through the points three, sorry, seven, three. Mm -hmm. Can you give me positive negatives? Negative seven, positive three. Perfect. Negative seven, positive three. Yes. So this is the X and Y value it'll go through because it's opposite. So it's negative seven and positive three. Okay. And this greater than or equal to sign, someone in the class, raise your hand, tell me what's going to happen to the graph. Alex? You'll shade above with a solid line. Shade above with a solid line, perfect. Awesome. Now, someone else tell me, well, Ms. Patterson, I don't like point slope form. Um, can I change this to slope intercept form? Of course you can. Can someone tell me how? How would I change this <laughs> to slope intercept form? Tavian? Oh, yes, girl. So I'm gonna distribute first. <laughs> 
So y minus three is greater than or equal to two x plus 14. And then what? All right, I'm gonna split my little thingy thingy. Mm -hmm. And then what? And then you get the Yeah. Yeah, then you get Add three to both sides. Yes, yes. So that would give me y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 17. So now this is in slope intercept form, and there's my slope, and there's my y intercept, if I prefer it that way. So remember, at the end of the day, we want to be able to know how to change it to slope intercept form if we don't know what else to do. Okay, and then the last form is standard form. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, I didn't mean to put an equal sign. Um, let's say this is not an equal sign. Let's say that this is, says 4x <laughs> minus 3y is less than 6. 4x minus 3y is less than 6. Yes, if it was, yeah, no inequality sign. Based on this formula, most of you would say, oh, you're going to shade below because it's a less than sign. But pause, wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute. We need to change this to slope intercept form. Could someone please tell me how? Charlie? Ooh, I like that. Let's subtract 4x from both sides. Mm -hmm. So that'll give me negative 3y is less than 6 minus 4x. And then someone on Zoom, can you tell me what to do El Nexto? Liliana, is your hand raised? Uh, sorry, that was from Good Things. Oh. Yeah, um, you would, wouldn't you divide negative three by but uh, divide negative three to both sides? Is that Absolutely. And when I divide by a negative, <gasps> you flip it. Oh, this inequality sign gets flipped. So it'd be y is greater than six divided by negative three is negative two. Negative four divided by negative three is positive four thirds x. Because when I divide by a negative, I flip my inequality. So in standard form, you have to pay attention to when you change it, will the sign get flipped based on if there's a minus sign right here. If there's a minus sign right here, you know that, there's, that the inequality will get flipped, okay? So you technically don't have to change it if you can figure that out in your head, okay? But always change it, that would be the best practice. Okay, questions before we go to some examples. Okay, let's do it then. I'm going to pass these out really quick. So they all have some graphs. To go. To go. Maybe only Jason would remember you. Yeah. No, I didn't mean that. It makes it sound like. Ah. It's just so hard mathematically not to give y'all something. I mean, something tangible. Even though I guess your star test and nine weeks test and all that will actually be on only on technology. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think so. But I don't know. How are people at home gonna make their homework? Oh yeah, turn off. Yeah. All right, boys. All right. So I want to graph these two inequalities. So write these two inequalities down and then we'll talk about graphing them. Y is less than two X minus four. And two X plus three Y is greater than or equal to six. I hope these work out the way I want them to. I did not test these out beforehand. 
Okay, so let's graph the first equation. Y is less than 2x minus 4. Class, what's the y-intercept? Negative 4. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to plot my point at negative 4. It's okay, Alex. So plot my point at negative 4. So I know the y-intercept is at negative 4. And then our slope is 2x, positive 2 over 1. So from this, from the y-intercept, I'm going to go up 2 to the right 1 up two to the right one, up two to the right one. I know that my screen's small and I apologize. Up two to the right, so you could keep doing this, okay? Will my line be dashed or solid? Yeah. Dashed because it's just a less than. So I'm gonna have a dashed line through my points. And am I shading below or above? Below, because it's a less than symbol, so I'm gonna shade below. So shade, 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 shade. For some reason I forgot because I already did it. Mm-hmm. It's all good. All right, so we have our first inequality graph. Am I going too quickly? If you have another color, I suggest using different colors for this, but if you don't, it's fine, okay? So now we need to graph this second one. 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. By now, hopefully I could literally call on anyone and they could tell me how to change this to slope intercept form. I'm gonna do it one more time, but then anyone is fair game for me to call on. So I want it to be, I want y to be isolated. So I have to get rid of the 2x and the 3. I will start off with the 2x. It's a positive 2x, so I will subtract 2x from both sides. <clears throat> that will give me 3y is greater than or equal to 6 minus 2x. Then to get rid of the three, which is multiplied to y, I would divide both sides by three. I will not flip the inequality because I did not divide by a negative three. I just divided by positive three. Therefore, the inequality will stay greater than or equal to. So y is greater than or equal to six divided by three is two. And negative two x divided by three is negative two thirds x. We do not need to change that to a decimal or anything else. We can leave it as a fraction. What, babe? Six divided by three is two, uh-huh. And negative two x divided by three is negative two thirds x. So I'm just leaving what was on top and bottom the same and make it in a fraction. So my y-intercept is two. So I'm gonna plot my y-intercept at positive two. So I plot my y-intercept at positive two. Because the slope is negative two thirds, I'm gonna go down two and run to the right three. So maybe it'd be help if I like highlight this stuff. So the wider set was two, the slope is negative two thirds. So my rise, I'm rising down two and I'm running to the right three. So down two, over three, down two, over three. So now, <clears throat> will it be a dashed line or a solid line? Solid line. Solid line, because it's equal to. Am I shading above or am I shading below? above because it's a greater than sign. Now here's my question. We graph both of them, both of the inequalities. If I asked you where will the solution is, what do you think, where do you think the solution would be on this graph? 
Okay, go ahead. Where the two intersect. Where the two intersect. Give me a little bit more. Or where the two lines intersect. So that would be um, positive. I don't know that I'm saying that they're on the same Do it on the same one. Yeah. Two zero on the left. Okay, so it's not where they, that's not a specific point where they intersect. Oh, you it's, where the, both it's where they're both shaded. You're going to say that, Marco? Awesome. So it's where they're both shaded. So right here, this region where they're both overlapping and they're shading, that is where their solution is. So where they're both overlapping with their shading, that is where the solution would be. Okay, so this is literally all we're learning today. Okay, but I just want to make sure if you have a question, I need you to speak up because I literally only have one more example. Okay, so if it did ask for the solution and it was asking, and it would be where the two shaded areas are, you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. um, how would you write that down? Like, good question. So on these questions on the EOC, what they have for multiple choice answers is four different graph options. And you have to see which one is correct. So basically which one has shows the correct shading. Okay, so you don't actually have to write an equation. No, good question. So it, now, okay. will they change it up this year? I have no clue, right? But it the only other possible thing I can think of that they would ask is like, is a five two in the solution set? Well, five two is in the region where they're both shaded. So that would be, yes, they are in the solution set, okay? All right, but if it asks like, well, what about zero negative or ne uh, negative five, positive 10? Well, that's only in one of those shaded regions. So that would not be in the solution set. So it would have to be in both solution sets kind of thing. Make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uno mas for me. All right. So use another graph. We're going to do these systems of linear inequalities. X minus 2Y is greater than 4. And Y is less than 4X minus 7. If you feel strong about it, go ahead of me. But I am going to ask people to give me what to do. Okay. Oof. Okay, almost done. All right, so x minus 2y is greater than 4. I want to change that to slope intercept form. Grayson, you got me? Yes, 2y will subtract x from x minus 2y. Okay, so subtracted x. Okay, so that gave you negative 2y is greater than 4 minus x. All right, keep going. Um, and that's going to be, that's going to be 1 because there's 1 of x. So, okay, this is 1x. Okay, keep going. I want this to say, I want y to be by itself. So I want negative 2 off of the y. Two on both sides. Yes. So I'm going to divide by negative two on both sides. Uh oh, I'm dividing by a negative. So flip that inequality. So it's going to become y is less than four divided by negative two is negative two. Negative one divided by negative two is positive one half x. I'll say it again. Four divided by negative two is negative two. Negative one divided by negative two is positive one half x. Or you could put 0.5, but I'd rather keep it as a fraction. All right, Anais, can you tell me how to graph it? Uh, two. Awesome, Blossom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and then the slope is positive one half. So you go uh, up one over two. 
Awesome, Blossom. And then it says dark and cloudy. Dark and cloudy. And it's a dotted, a dash line. Awesome. And shade below. Awesome. Good job. Yes. All right. So dash line, shade below. Fantabulous. All right. Julia, you got me on the second one? Yes, sir. Because when you divide by a negative, you always switch the inequality sign. Why? I don't know. I have to think about it. People, there is a legit reason. I just cannot think of it right now. Oh. Julia, you got me? Yeah. Okay. So the y intercept is negative 7. Okay. And then the x is 1. Awesome. There's a dash line and it's a less than symbol, so my shade below or above? Above. Below. Oh. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. So it'll be a dash line, and because it's less than, I shade below my line. So the region that is the solution will be where the both of them overlap. I can make it prettier. I guess I could try, but I think y'all got it. Okay, questions? Confusion? Nicole? So you can, you don't, technically you only need to plot two points. And from there, you can just take a ruler and just make a line through them. But you would literally, it would cover the whole entire graph. Okay. So like your line that you do draw, it should cover the whole entire graph. Like how many times do you go up four over one, up four over one? So you technically you only have to do that once but you can just do it the whole entire time if you want to but your line should go all the way through the whole entire coordinate plane okay um we're not gonna graph that you're gonna graph this all right so on your thing if you're in person you could use the paper one if you wanted to take a picture of that and submit it or you can use the graph on the near pod. Okay. So two minutes, 30 seconds. Does that sound like enough time? No. No? Five minutes? Uh, Five let's compromise. Three minutes and 13 seconds. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna ask some questions, that's all. <laughs> that <was> so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, so the first one has a wider set of negative two. So I'm gonna plot my point at negative two and a slope of negative one over one. So I should go down one to the right one, down one to the right one. Yada, 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 yada. 
Yes, or up left, up left, up left. All right, and then it should be a dashed line and I should be shading above. On the second one, there's a liner set to positive two and the slope of negative five. So it should be going down five to the right one. It should be a dashed line. And I should be shading below my line because less than. So my solution set should be right over here where they should both intersect. So if you didn't get it right, Anyone want to say what they did that made them not correct or where they messed up? I do. Go ahead, Liliana. So I did everything the same besides it was on the opposite side. So I I did a positive slope instead of a negative slope. Oh, okay. So doing the slope. Thank you for sharing, Liliana. Anyone else want to share what they might have done wrong so they can help other people? I went down into the left. Okay, so slow. What'd you say, Charlie? Oh, okay. So switch to slope and liner set. That's a common mistake. Okay, thank you for sharing, Marco. Instead of five? No. And then I did the Y and the Uh okay, I got it. Thank you for sharing, Marco. Alex. And instead of doing a negative one slope, I did a positive one slope. Okay. Thank you for sharing. So what I'm getting for the main reason people messed up is their slopes. They messed up on their slopes or they messed up on the shading. Okay. This person looks much better than mine. I'm gonna use theirs to share. Who's ever you are. I'm a little jealous. That's Good. mine. Oh, oh, okay. Akuda. All right. So great shading. Great precision of the line. All right. All right. You ready to redeem yourself? No. Una mas. No, you're not. Oh my gosh, Miss Patterson, are these both in standard form? Yes, they are. I need a map. <laughs> do, we, do we have an assignment where we have to use this? No. Oh, there's no assignment? There's no assignment where you're going to have to use that. Uh, there's an assignment for the I mean, <laughs> um, let's just say I think cousins are girls. I have no boy cousins. Mm. All right. So. I'm gonna graph the second one first. So it has a slope, I mean a y-intercept, a positive one, a slope of negative one half, so down one to the right two, down one to the right two. It should be a solid line. And because it's less than, it should be shaded below. No. I did that, never mind. Okay. Let me pause. Anyone not agree with me or don't understand? Actually, I, that one. I only did the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to do the first one. Wait, what? How do I know what I did? Wait. What did you do? Uh, see, wait, so which one did you do? I did the so x plus 2y is less than or equal to 2. x plus 2y is less than or equal to 2. I can't see it. Uh, it says y is less than or equal to one minus one half x. Yeah, the slope is negative, so you went down one to the right two. The winer set was positive one. Wait, I went, I went the other way. I went this way. So you the wrong slope. I did. All right. All right. So let me do the first one. Okay. So the y-intercept's negative one. 
The slope is negative three over two, so down three to the right two. And I'm gonna go back this way, up three to the left two. This will be a solid line. Pretend that's pretty. And then it's shaded above. Good. I did it by myself. So this little region right there would be the solution. Let me see if someone drew it better than me that I can share with everyone. Oh, this one's pretty. I shaded it wrong. That's mine. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Um, this one's good. Look at that. Oh, they're in progress still. But that one looks good. Um. Okay, there's more there's more right ones this time. That's a positive. This one? Yeah, it does look really nice. Unfortunately, you just did two positive slopes. <laughs> so I'm gonna share Kuna's again. So um nice straight lines, whatever feature that is, awesome. And then shading is correct. So this region is the solution region. Okay. So what we are going to El Duo. Oh, is there another one? We're not going to do this one. Don't worry about it. Um, what we're going to do, let me stop the recording.